Hello, my name is Nick Sidegi, and I'm going to be speaking to you about doxazosin. So doxazosin can go by its brand name Cardura. It belongs to a family of drugs known as alpha-1 blockers. It's used to treat BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia and works by relieving these symptoms of BPH by increasing urine flow. So doxazosin is indicated for BPH, like I said before, as well as hypertension. And for off-label uses, it's used for disorders of the urinary system, pheochromocytoma, as well as stones of the ureters. Administration, patients are going to want to take the initial dose with breakfast, swallow tablets whole, do not chew, divide, cut, or crush these tablets. These are some common side effects that patients might run into while taking doxazosin. They may be related to cardiovascular effects like edema or hypotension, GI related like nausea, as well as neurologic, dizziness, headaches, somnolence, vertigo, or fatigue. Some more serious side effects to be aware of, and if the patient does experience any of these, they need to contact their primary care immediately or call 911, and that would be symptoms of hepatitis, ophthalmic side effects, specifically related to intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, um, reproductive side effects like priapism, although it is rare, and then also angioedema. So the mechanism of action. For BPH, um, doxazosin is going to competitively inhibit postsynaptic alpha-1 adrenergic receptors in the prostatic stroma as well as bladder neck tissues. This inhibition reduces sympathetic tone, inducing urethral stricture, which causes the BPH symptoms themselves. For hypertension, um, doxazosin is going to competitively inhibit postsynaptic alpha-1 adrenergic receptors like it does in BPH. This leads to vasodilation in the veins and arterioles and a decrease in total peripheral resistance, resulting in a decreased blood pressure. So doxazosin comes in uh, three different common forms, the generic, just doxazosin tablets like we have in the picture here, Cardura, the brand name, as well as Cardura XL, an extended release form formulation. The tablets can come in standard release form in one, two, four, and eight milligram. And then for the extended release, they come in four and eight milligram. Okay, for the specific dosage recommendations for BPH, starting with the immediate release formulation, they're gonna to wanna to start on a one milligram once daily dose, and then this can be titrated up, doubling the daily dose one to, at one to two week intervals up to a max dose of eight milligrams once daily. And this is based on the patient's response to the medication as well as their tolerability. If the, the medication is stopped, and that's for several days, the patient should reinitiate at one milligram and then titrate up from there. For the extended release formulation, start at four milligram once daily and then titrate up every three to four weeks up to a max daily dose of eight milligrams. And then again, if this is stopped, reinitiate at that first dose of four milligrams and titrate up from there. If the patient wants to convert from immediate release to extended release formulation, omit the last final evening dose of the immediate release prior to the morning dose of extended release. So start, stop your immediate release the night before you start the extended release. For hypertension, for the immediate release formulation, because that's typically what's used for hypertension uses of doxazosin, initially start at one milligram once daily, titrate as needed based upon the response of the patient, up to a 16 milligram once daily dose. And then again, if the patient is stopped or the patient has stopped the medication, and that's for multiple days, restart at that initiating dose of one milligram and titrate up from there. This medication is hepatically cleared, so no renal adjustments needed. For hepatic impairment though, mild to moderate, so child PU class A or B, use this medication with caution. If it's child PU class C, so severe impairment, use is not re recommended. Here are some warnings and precautions related to this medication. Anaphylactic reactions, CNS depression, floppy iris syndrome, especially related to if they're having surgical uh, procedures done to correct this, they may require modification to the technique during the surgery being on this medication. Um, it can affect your blood levels uh, in WBCs, neutrophils, orthostatic hypotension and syncope, priapism, cardiovascular disease, hepatic impairment, like I mentioned before, as well as prostate cancer. Contraindications. 
So for contraindications for doxazosin, we're really only concentrating on hypersensitivity to doxazosin itself, ingredients in the medication, as well as hypersensitivity to any other the quinazolines like prazosin or terazosin, basically other medications within the same family. Monitoring. So for BPH, we want to monitor our efficacy of the treatment, so resolution of symptoms of BPH. For hypertension, we want to monitor for efficacy as well, so we want to look at the blood pressure. And this means routinely, as well as for at least six hours after the initial dose and within each dose increase, standing, sitting, as well as supine. We also want to monitor for toxicity, so symptoms of hypotension. And then something specific about this medication, specifically related to the extended formulation, the drug is um, prepared in a non-deformable matrix. And then this shell is expelled in the stool, so the patient should be aware of that. Here are my references. Thank you so much.